afternoon baseball here on the show. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Cincinnati Reds and the St. Louis Cardinals. Alongside Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa and Danny, as pitching matchups go, it doesn't get much better than what we've got here for this one. Well, Matt, these are two of the best in the business, two guys that throw a lot of strikes, and if their game is on, we should have a very low-scoring ball game with these two elite starting pitchers. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Jack Flaherty gets the start for St. Louis in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Big arm here, Jack Flaherty. We call him Jack Flash. This guy throws in the upper 90s, 97 to 100 miles an hour. Great life up in the zone. Good hard breaking ball. He has tremendous mound presence. Gets the ball, throws it in a hurry. There isn't anything really finesse about this guy. One the of the top power pitchers Cincinnati. in all of baseball. Now into the box, Jesse. Jesse Winker. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. First pitch of the AB on its way. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And this will find its way into center field for a leadoff single. Yeah, he's going to have to work that sinker down in the zone. That's his bread and butter pitch, and if he's going to leave that belt high, that's going to spell disaster. Nick Castellanos now. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. A runner at first with no outs here. Grounded back up the middle. And that's into center field for another base hit. And Trouble's brewing here to start the ball game. Throw will hold him at second, but the go-ahead runs in scoring that's position first. now with still the nobody out. Number 19, Joey Votto. In is Joey Votto now. Line toward right center, and that's in there. Base hit. And the go ahead run will move up to third and wisely hold there with that's nobody the out. The shortstop, Eugenio Suarez. to the plate now Eugenio Suarez lifted in the air out towards left center Carlson is there and that should be deep enough to score the run and the throw comes in and they will not try sending him as that go ahead run remains in third with one away now ready now for Cincinnati Mike Moustakis in his career against this pitcher he's a 300 hitter three for ten he's taken him deep once Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Well, the key for him on the mound is to keep the ball down. Certainly, hollow of the knee or lower. Sinker changeup guy, if he's going to succeed against this lineup, he's got to keep the ball down. Williams is there. Let's see if they test it. And they will not risk it. So with two away now, that go-ahead run is forced to hold tight at third That's base. It. The center fielder, Nick Senzel. In now for the Reds, Nick Senzel. Certainly a big moment in this game. Bases loaded, tie score. From the stretch. Ooh, started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. I can't speak from experience, but that's got to feel good right there. Throwing a nasty change-up first pitch and getting a swing and a miss on it. Now he pretty much opened up any pitch in his arsenal. One run scores.
we didn't have to wait long for the offensive fireworks in this one. Two runners aboard, and he got a pitch he liked, drove it all the way to the wall to bring in a pair of runs, and they're still in good shape to add on with him at second now. Jonathan India digging in now. Liner in there for a base hit. And the run is in to score from third. It's a 3 0 game. Batting eight. The catcher, Tucker Barnhart. In now, Tucker Barnhart. And he puts it on the ground to second. Throw on to first, and a good job of working out of that one with just limited damage as the inning is over. So they strike for three runs on five hits, no errors, and a couple of men left on. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. It's the Reds three, and the Cardinals nothing. Luis Castillo, the right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Go. That brings in Tommy Edmund. Edmund. He'll lead things off here Edmund. in the bottom half Tommy. of the first. Edmund. And now pitch on the way. Hit out towards second. This will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Batting second, the first baseman, Paul. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. The swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Swing and a high fly ball out to left field. Looking up is the left fielder. Gone! A two-run home run off the bat of Paul Goldschmidt. And the Cardinals are back within a run. It's now a 3-2 game. You don't see this very often off of this starting pitcher. This guy's not used to giving up some bombs, so I'm sure that'll be a wake-up call, and he'll start throwing some better pitches. That is cool. And, and that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. Oh, no. As he'll come up empty there as he misses the off-speed pitch for strike one. His career numbers in this matchup, he's two for four. Bases are empty here. Nobody out. Swing and a hot shot toward third. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. One team's dream inning is another team's nightmare, right? That's their third hit of this opening Whoa. inning. This one a double. That's got to have the pitcher pretty upset out there and the manager wondering how long he's going to go in this one. So Paul DeYoung digs in next as he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. Oh and one delivery. Hit sharply on the ground to the left and that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm a base hit. And the run will score from second as we are once again tied three to three. And they'll keep the pressure on here. He's in with a triple. That this is, is an easy decision for him to try for third because he has the play right in front of him. So he doesn't have to rely on any of his base coaches. Good decision to keep chugging and he makes it all the way around safely. At the plate, Tyler O'Neill. He grounds it sharply to third. And finally, there's the first out of the inning. Back. 
batting six. The catcher, Yadier. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Yadier Molina. And a great chance here for the Cardinals to add on in just the first inning. He's set. Here it comes. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. This is a situation where you're going strictly for the strikeout. Infield in, and from the offensive standpoint, you're just trying to create. Meanwhile, now, this ball's trouble as it looks like it'll be good for extra bases. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, B. Where you get that base hit to give your team the lead, you have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much, able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. At the plate now, Dylan Carlson. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Oh, 1 here's the pitch down the first baseline fielded by Votto a step on the bag for one here's one that you don't see too often right safe at second base but out at first great hustle there from the runner going into second really showed off his speed so now to the plate Justin Williams Hit high and deep is straight away right field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across four runs. On now to the top half of inning number two. It's the Cardinals four and the Reds three. Aristides Aquino will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. For Cincinnati, number 44. First offering. And it was quite a turn of events we witnessed in the last half. A lot of runs put up on the board, and we've got a very close game on our hands now. And the pitch. Hit back up the middle. He's got it. On to first, and there's one gone here to start the second. The left fielder, number 33, Jesse Winkler. Back to the top of the Reds lineup now and stepping in, Jesse Winker. He singled to start the ball game and later came around to score the game's first run. Not an easy thing to do when you're in a leadoff spot, but that was a good piece of hitting in his first at bat, an opposite field base hit, which leads me to believe that this guy's going to cover both sides of the plate. Throw gets him, two down. The right field. So the bases are empty with two gone now. And the right-handed hitting Nicholas Castellanos will bat next. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Pretty well struck. High and deep to left field. O'Neal looks up. That one is out of here. This game is tied. A solo shot here to left as that'll pull him even at four apiece. I can tell you one thing. You might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues, but when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys, you're going to get exactly what he got. A really bad result. So up steps the former MVP Joey Votto. He swings and grounds it to short. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. But a run scores in the inning and that'll have to be good enough as this solo home run knots things up. On to the bottom of inning number two. All even now at four apiece.
Your Sal Romano, the 6 5 right hander, takes back. over on the mound. Number 47, Sal Romano. Adam Wainwright will grab a bat and hit for Number the pitcher 50. here. Adam Wainwright. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And solid contact there as this ball is belted high in the air out to left. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. A solo shot here to left as they will take the lead here. It's now a 5-4 ball game. Wow, that's a tough one. Certainly not the way you want to start your day as a relief pitcher giving up a home run. Into the box now, Tommy Edmond. And he puts it on the ground to second. Reined in. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. The batter, the first baseman. Paul Goldschmidt. The next to bat for St. Louis, Paul Goldschmidt. His prior history versus this arm, he's two for four. He also has one home run. Goldschmidt with a swing and a ball sent out to deep left. A ball that's carrying. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Up next to the partner. Here's Nolan Arenado. Nolan Arenado. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Line towards center field. Senzel makes the play, and the side is retired. But the cards add on just a bit, courtesy of this solo home run. Last chance coming up here for the Reds. It's now 5 4 St. Louis. Welcome back to Bush Stadium as we send it down to Heidi. Matt, I had a chance to talk about the state of the Reds' offense with their manager between innings. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said forcing the opposing starter out of the game before the third inning and posting a bunch of runs right out of the gate was huge for them from a confidence standpoint and for their outlook moving forward in this game. The key now is keeping their foot on the gas pedal, Matt. Thank you, Heidi. set for the start of the inning and stepping in is the veteran shortstop Eugenio Suarez. Infield in the overshift here now the pitch skied in the air to straightaway left. O'Neill waits on it. He's got it one away. So one gone now in the Cincinnati third. And up next, the former World Series hero, Mike Moustakis. First pitch coming from Wainwright. And he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd of foul ball. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Moustakis is quickly approaching 200 career homers, looking to inch closer here. Fielded by Goldschmidt, and a step on first for the out, three unassisted. 
Up next, Nick Senzel stands in here after doubling home two in his first at bat. Now the pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0 and 2. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the offense better step up. Somebody's going to have to pull a trigger a little bit earlier in the count. Throw in time, and the ball game is over. Very rarely do you see a lot of offense in a three inning game. This certainly was the exception to the rule. Run scored by both teams, and a fun one to watch. A one run finish today, 5 to 4, the final score. The St. Louis Cardinals scored in every single inning on the way to victory. Jack Flaherty is credited with the win. So that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com. Final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious St. Louis Cardinals, five runs, six hits, no errors, and they left.